One fight after for another. Hell hammer! Hell hammer! Sorry. I don't, ah, ah. Oh, I don't I like don't yeah, zombies. They're so annoying. Constantly getting Sorry. in the way. Like, they also block all the time, too, which is really annoying. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good, right? So that was what six, right? Yeah. So then you run back out, like I said. Like the skull enemies aren't guaranteed to have a chimera with them, so I don't always go for them. Like, let me do a test here and see. This is gonna be cake. yeah. This one doesn't have it, so I'm not gonna waste my time. Let's be more careful next time. I'm not gonna waste my time. But the ones that look like little tigers or not whatever, they always have them. So. Sorry. Item. Yeah, I got something. So, did I get both of them? I hope I did. Because I hit them both with Item Rover. Okay, you need a Spirit Bangle. Because you're just going to run out of mana. Pretty good, right? If I did, I should have 10. No! Because I hit them both at the same time, it didn't count. That's so stupid. Well, that's annoying. This is gonna be a peep. That's really annoying, actually. It's a cake. Uh. Item uh. Uh. Sorry. What's going on? Item Why didn't I get it? Item uh. Yay, I got something. I guess if you interrupt my attack animation while I'm on the floor, it doesn't work. I don't know what the hell that was about. Item uh. Yay, I got something. No way. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Just doing a little rune bottle grinding. Shouldn't take too long. Like I said, you get four per screen. And if they actually drop one after the battle too, it's pretty nice, but I don't think they'll drop one if you steal one. This is gonna be a peep piece of cake. <laughs> Yay, I got something! Sorry! Help! Whirlwind Rush! Help! Torrential Pass! You see what I'm talking about? Those fuckers block all the time. So if you can jump behind them, you'll just break their guard all the time. Ooh, they actually dropped one. Nice. So the one that I missed, they gave me an extra one. Fortune smiled upon us. Okay, let's go get one from this dude. Reinforcement. Huh? Item room. Yay, I got something. I wonder, we could probably just run and refight these guys. <laughs> Pretty good, right? It would definitely make more sense to do that. Like, do we get to keep the items? Like, we should be able to, right? I'll do a test on that. Cause I could just keep doing that over and over. Stalking me, or like I assume we could. Or something. Let us test it. Oh no! no. Sorry. Those dudes are always looking at me. Yeah, I got 
something. Okay. Yay, I got something. So let's run and see if we get to keep them. Let's be more careful next time. Yeah, we do keep them, so we can just keep running away and then joining the fight again. Nice. This is gonna be cake. So yeah, once we have 20 rune bottles, we'll go back and convert it to cash. We just need two more, right? Yes. Reinforcements. It's like printing huh? my own money. Sorry. Item room. Uh, yay, I got something. Okay, let's Sorry. target that guy. Item room. Uh, yay, I got something. I right, run away. Let's be more careful next time. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let me make sure to switch everybody back to what they were doing before. Right, done and done. Now it's off to Flanor to buy some talismans. Then it's off to Luin to finish building it, and then it's more costume titles. Then it's pretty much the end of the game at that point. Like, there's not too many more dungeons. I mean, there are, but they're not, like, super long. Okay. Let's drop by here. Uh, good thing we're going to... I don't know where you... Good thing we're going to... Silver Op because uh, we need to go there for a costume title anyway. So again, we go over here, we buy as many talismans as we can afford. 17. We go over here, go to Rune Bottle, go down here to Talisman, hit A, turns into Blue Talisman. And we just finished converting the rest of them to blue talismans. And actually, I should have had Regal's personal title on. Personal EX Fear skill, because, um... We spent, like, way more than we should have on them. But it's alright. We'll sell them for more. Right, there you go. Still have three more bottles, so let's buy three more talismans. Then you go down. Go to room bottle. Go to talisman over here. One, two, three. Go to sell. And sell the last one. So you go. 400,000 gold. Not bad. We pretty much aren't going to need money for the rest of the game. Even though rebuilding the last parts of Luin is going to take... Uh, the last little bits of this money. We still have to pay the 100,000, so... We need to pay 100,000 and then 15,000 after that, so actually it's not too bad. Yeah, we were almost done by the time we got the joke weapon, so... Pretty much done with that. And a, a couple of the costume titles require Luan to be finished anyway. Yeah, so... Yeah, we're going to Asgard right now. I'll finish rebuilding Luan there, and then... Uh, that's where Eifried is, and we can see him... Oops, went too far. Okay. Now.
Let's go here. One, two, three, four. One, that's 10,000, 100,000. Really, really expensive side quest. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. That's it. And we're done. Everyone, just look how far Lewin has come. I'm amazed, Pietro. Not at all. The credit goes to you. I mean, you've spent, like, hundreds of thousands of gold on this place. Shall we? These are the heroes whose efforts have allowed our town to prosper. And they also destroyed Palma Costa for us, so now we're the premier city in town. I mean, city on the... Uh, you know what I'm trying to say. They got rid of the competition. There's no need for that. No, but we want to. Please. We all talked it over together and agreed. We would like to extend an honorary mayorship of Lewin to your party. I'm afraid we're not quite able to pay you back in money just yet. So we thought the least we could do is offer you some honor that shows how much we appreciate all of you've done. We appreciate all you've done. Please? Alright, sure. Excellent. So then who shall be the honorary mayor? Me, I guess. Uh, give it to Shina. Wait, me? I'd be terrible at it. Why don't you do it, Lloyd? Then Mr. Irving it is. Oh, okay. So it's always him. I'd say more work here. I'd say my work here is done. It's about time I should be moving on. Pietro, but why? You'll be sorely missed. You're all very kind, but Lewin is back on its feet. There are plenty of other people in need out there waiting. I aim to go and do what I can. And Sophia says she'll join me, so I won't be alone. All right, but if you must go, at least allow us to support you in your next endeavor. Huh, I'll hold you to that, and thank you. If there's anything we can do, just let us know. I may well be in touch. Meanwhile, good luck to us both. Farewell. So, done and done. And we get to see the statues of everybody. The wise teacher... Sheena, a hero who saved the people from the Zions. And of course, Lloyd gets his own special right here. The fountain made in his honor. The hero Lloyd Irving, who devoted himself to the restoration of the city. I'm pretty sure that city is destroyed in Tales of uh, Symphonia, Radiant New World, or whatever. Dawn of the New World. Okay. This is Ifred. Oh, sir, you have good taste. What? If you act now, I'll sell this boat for only 3,000 gold. Well, don't you want to buy it? This is 3,000 gold. We can't make it out to sea with a boat like this. This is called a houseboat. They're popular in Isold right now. I didn't see anything like that in Isold. What? Uh, I mean, it's about to become popular. How about it? It's for your future dream house. For my future, huh? It's a home away from home. A place where you can get all lovey-dovey with a certain girl. Come on, buy it. Okay, I'll take it. Good boy, let's write up the contract right now. Okay, here's the contract. Don't lose it. See you around. <laughs> Lloyd, show me that contract. This is... I knew it. He was trying to trick you. Wait, what is it? Look at this. It says it's a lease. You just rented this boat for 3,000 gold from a person named Ifred. What? Hey, isn't Ifred the one Lila asked to give a letter to? Wait, it can't be. That was Ifred, damn it. When I say next time, I'll... No, what, what you said before when you... 
Never mind, I got an idea. Well, yeah. You know, it's not much of a houseboat. There's nowhere to sleep in here. Bed not included. Okay, Sheena's duel. We'll do that later. on the previous page. Sword Dancer did that, did that. Oh, we did that. Hmm. Oh, okay, we gotta leave and come back. Go to Thoda Dock and talk to the priest, okay, cause, yeah. It's just a stupid thing, like, oh, we'll see many people died and you should feel bad for the people dying, which is true. The fact that they didn't, like, would you please move out of the way, ma'am? You're, like, taking up the entire bridge. Okay, so we have to leave and come back in. Because you failed the regeneration journey, and lots of people have died, and we were counting on you, even though, you know, it's very easy to put the blame or all on one person. I don't know, he's just as wrong. Oh, I've been waiting for you, Lloyd. You... Hey, you know my name. That's not important. You tricked us. Blah, blah, blah. Absolute. Okay, then let's do this. Let's make a new contract. Come with me on an adventure across the seven seas. I'm searching for the legendary treasure left behind by Spiritua. If you help me find that, I'll give you that boat. Okay. Are you sure, Lord? You're just going to get tricked again. Dwarven Mount number 18. It's better to be deceived than to deceive. I'm going to try trusting him. Okay, then let's make the contract. Not again. This time I'll look at it well. I don't see any problems. Okay, then I'll sign. All right, we've got a contract. Time to go, crew. What are you talking about? What else? From this point on, you're my crew. What? We're just going to help you hunt for some treasure. That's why you guys are amateurs. Read the contract carefully. Hey, this contract is an application to become a pirate. That's impossible. Haha, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. But yeah, those are pretty cool clothes. He also has a scar for some reason. I guess he's always had it. What the? Why just me? Sorry, I'm low on funds. You'll have to represent us all as a pirate. What, you got a problem? You know this outfit isn't half bad. Oh well, hey. I think we'll get along, Lloyd. I think it's cool. Where else? Search anything related to the Church of Martel from top to bottom. I'll be waiting for you in Hyma. My boat was damaged by the recent earthquake. Now listen, if you find any clues, come to Hanwha. We don't- we, we can finish this now, we don't have to. You mainly- what you get out of it is the Army Hardy's costume. Which is pretty cool. I like hit this one and his nobleman one. Now. Damn that eye for tricking us like this. Off we go. I think we have to talk to every priest here. The treasure is spiritual. The ring spiritual war on her first pilgrimage is very valuable. Now that you mention it, one of the descendants of the Seven Disciples of Spiritua was on a pilgrimage. Being a descendant of the Seven Saints, he would most likely know about the treasure which you speak of. He seems to be visiting Houses of Salvation, so you may run into him eventually. Okay, well, thanks for that.
So the next house of salvation is over this way. Talk to this dog, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Yes, we did. A descendant of the Seven Sages? Ah, oh, you mean High Priest August. So High Priest August is a descendant of the Seven Saints. You know him. Or Augusta. The priests all come to train under Grandmother, so... August said he was going to make an offering of the treasure passed down from Spiritual at the final location of his pilgrimage. Then he headed for the next house. Okay, let's go. It's an underhanded fucking... Now you know what it's like, Chosen One, to have to actually journey across the world, even though you know... You failed, and you should understand that people had wishes and relied on you. Like, people are just as bad trying to make one person carry the weight of the world on their shoulders. So I don't subscribe to that nonsense. I do think they're responsible for all the shit that happened to Palma Costa because they did that shit without stopping to question why they're doing it. What's going on? Since the Chosen went on her journey, instead of getting better, the city got destroyed. When will Martel awake and save us? Martel saves those who walk on their own two legs and go awaken her. I'm tired of hearing that speech. I want my son back. So you're the Chosen. Please give me back my son. When Palma Costa was destroyed by the monster, my son was... My son was... I can't. If you're the Chosen, you can do something. Go meet Martel and have her bring my son back to life. Are you saying you can't even do that? You're a failure, just like they say. Stop. My son is dead. He died believing that the world was about to be regenerated. This is too cruel. I mean, yeah, they're responsible for this, for sure. I apologize. No, it's my fault. It's because I couldn't save the world. It's not over yet. Our journey's not over. Clean us. We haven't abandoned the world. Yes, we believe in you. Blah, 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 blah. High Priest August is at the House of Salvation by the Thoda Island Boat Dock. He was asked to conduct prayers by someone named Eifried. Let's go. My friends were murdered in Palma Costa because of the tree. Like, yeah. But it's not Colette's fault. It's our, the whole party's fault for following orders blindly. 